Okay, so welcome to this short presentation about getting information or knowing the information, the device specs of a computer. And the title of this presentation is Microsoft Windows Basic. All right, let's continue. When we are on our desktop, okay, so of course we have here the start icon when we click the start icon the start menu will be displayed okay now if we want to see okay, the settings of our computer we can click on the gear icon here or this is the settings icon all right, now what we want to do now is to know the specs of our computer. So we will click on the settings icon. After clicking the settings icon, of course, the settings window will load. Then we will click on here. We will click on the system icon or the system menu. And then after clicking that, I on the left pane of our settings window, we will see the contents of the system or what goes under the system menu. So if we click on about, it will show us the specifications of our computer. So we have the device name, processor, the RAM, the device ID, the product ID, the system type, the pen and touch, right, or input that we have in this particular device. Okay, so that's knowing the device specs. Now let's go to the next slide. If we want to see what are the devices in our device or <laughs> what are the devices available in our computer or in our laptop? So we will go to the device manager control panel. Okay, so you can also right click on the start icon and then a men pop up menu will display also device manager. So if you click that, so we will be directed to the device manager pane. So if I will click on the device manager icon it will load the device manager window now this shows of course the devices that we have in our laptop so some important details all right so if i will want to know what is my computer let me erase that okay so this is about my computer now you click on the greater than sign okay and it will drop down the device available or show you the device available okay what is my disk drive okay what is my adapter what else my ide the ide that i have in this laptop of course, if I click on the Bluetooth, the batteries, it will also show the information about the device. Then these are the network adapters on my device. This is the type of monitor that I have. Okay, so you can explore on the device manager panel to see what are the devices available in your computer. Okay, and next, okay, so let's see about the disk the hard disk that i have in this computer so if you right click on the start icon like i said earlier you can see here the menu for the device manager and the other menus you can click on that or the easiest way if you like is to type on the search box here now what you want to see it will also be displayed all right, so let's click on, okay, let me erase first. Let's click on the disk management. I will just check some information about my hard disk. Okay, so if we click on disk management, 
All right, the disk management window will open. Now I can see if I have how many hard disks I have. Okay. So now here I have actually one disk, but it is partitioned. So I have C and E. And we have here the space okay, available for the particular disk. Okay. And of course, we have here some other information about the hard disk. Okay, so this is how you check if you want to know the capacity of the hard disk, how many percent is available, if your hard disk is partitioned or not, and so on. Okay? So, alright. Now, next is, let's check the status of my computer. So again, if I will right click on the start menu and then I can select task manager. Okay? So if I will click on the task manager, of course the task manager will, window will open. And on the task manager, I can see what are my currently running applications or the currently running applications, the CPU usage, the memory, and so on and so forth. Okay, now of course I will also have the background processes. Okay, so these are the background processes that are also currently running. Now, if I will scroll down, far down the background processes, I will have the window processes. Okay, so these are processes that are of course important for Windows to execute the other applications that I am running. Now, if we switch on the tab, we have the performance of the computer, the application history, the startup. I say I click on the performance tab, so it will show the performance of my computer, what my computer is currently doing, or how is my computer currently doing. So, I have 7% of CPU utilization with a speed of 0.74 GHz and so on and so forth. Now, if I click on, let's say, let's go to startup. So, these are the applications that should run okay, at startup, but it, they are being disabled. Okay? Now, if, for example, you enable or you set a particular application to run, also at startup, meaning the application will run right after you booted your computer, so you will see it here as running or if it's uh, enabled, okay? So this is about all about the task manager, okay? So of course, you can explore other settings, other tabs, other menus to know about your computer, okay? So, thank you very much. That ends the simple presentation about knowing what are the basics or the information about the computer. Thank you for watching. And stay safe and COVID-free. See you next time.